Today I'm looking at how to easily rig a character in AccuRig and then animate it between multiple animations in Unreal Engine. You may want to fill the background of your virtual production scene with low paid or free talent looking to build their portfolio and acting career. I'm short on cash and my production company has a bad reputation so I hired 35 animatronic lookalikes to fill my scene and that is exactly the look we are going for. Okay, that's probably an exaggeration, but um, I'm starting here in Cinema 4D with the FBX file that I previously prepared from Turbo Squid. Check out previous videos if you want to see how I prepared this file. And this one you see already has some bones, a rig set up, um, but we don't want those. We want to start over. But before I make any changes, I'm going to reset this to the vine pose. And first I want to move this bow tie down. Next I want to get rid of this microphone. And lastly, I want to rotate the feet out because I don't want them overlapping. So I'm actually going to use the skeleton that exists here. Middle click and then um, current state to object. So if I hide the old one, then the new one is just the mesh without the rig. So I'm going to select that and export that FBX. Make sure selection only and save that to a new file. Before I jump into AccuRig, I want to show you how to download it. If you're at Actor Core, uh, you can go to AccuRig right here and download. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. Currently, it's only available for Windows, but if you're doing 3D animation and you don't have a Windows machine, you probably need to go right now out and buy one. And also you're going to want to create an account on ActorCore so you can save your characters online. You can start to create a library of characters and motion capture data. They have a huge list of resources to utilize. Okay, here in ActorCore it's good to point out just kind of the UI. It's really straightforward, it's very intuitive, and there's lots of options. On the left over here, this is kind of your workflow. Uh, in five steps you can get a character rigged and ready for animation. These are the character poses that it supports. T-pose, A-pose is what I usually use. So we're going to choose our file right here, go to the file we just made. Right away you're going to want to make sure this white line is right in the center of your character and then hit rig body. Now this often gets uh, it pretty close right off the bat, but this one's a little bit funny so I have to reposition some of these points. You can see in the top right hand corner where this dot should be placed on the body. Uh, actually before I get, go too much further, hit symmetry to make sure the dots on both the right and left move symmetrical. You can click and rotate just to make sure things are where they need to be. That looks good to me. Move to the right hand. Freddy has four fingers. This one is a little bit funky as you can see, but quickly follow the right hand little icon. Looking good. Mirror to the left hand. Mirror worked. Finalized character. Takes a quick second, but you can see some animation, uh, some preview animation here just to confirm that everything worked. You can click around and check different poses. Make sure he's looking like the thumbnail here. As you can notice, this one's not perfect because his, his chin is kind of uh, connected, but for this guy, it's going to be fine. Walking. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with this. If you go, if you need to go back and make any changes, you can just go right back up the list. Go to the body rig, make adjustments, click click through, and make those make those changes active. When done, I upload to Actor Core so that I have access to animations and it stays in my file. So back in Actor Core, if I go to um, uploaded characters, uploaded actors, and there's Freddy. Disregard Homer's major sunburn in this one. And then I can go to uh, inventory and see other characters that are free or motion files that I have and then I can click through and since I have Freddy selected he's going to do those poses so so these are all looking good for us today uh, if you click this little button he'll run in place instead of running off camera and then you click download click uploaded actors next unreal as the target application frames per second is fine and everything else is good go ahead and download and you'll see it start to download. So it's going to download this animation and the character. All right, here in Unreal, I'm going to create a new folder, which I've kind of already done, but I'll do it again. So this is where I'm going to put my mesh that I just downloaded from AccuRig. 
So I extracted the file. Now I'm going to go into the actor folder and drop in the actor. Check skeleton mesh is activated. Import mesh. Use T0 as reference pose. No animations. Create new materials. And that should be good. I'm going to drop him into the scene. The skeletal mesh. It's looking kind of funny. I noticed with this guy, it just comes in kind of weird. I'm not sure if this will happen. It looks like this, first of all, the, the material is set to translucent. You're going to want that to be opaque. Hit apply. That's looking better. Uh, and then in order to get animation on him, we need to, I'm going to create an animations folder in here. And go back, go to the motion folder and panic long run. And this one, we're going to set the um, skeleton to the Freddy we just brought in. The time should be animated time. Use default sample rate and then import. Uh, one error we did disregard for now. We drop him in here and we hit play. You can see he's running. I'm going to drop this into the sequence that I've already made and zoom out. Go back to the content browser, drop in a new one. This is the one we just dropped in. Make sure he's in here. Drop him into the sequencer. Put him at the top so we can see what's going on. And then as I go through, nothing will happen. Um, I need to go to animation and then add the animation we just dropped in. And now there he goes. If you download a bunch more animations, they will be tied to that rig uh, that you've created. So for instance, this Freddy is a part of the other rig that I made. Uh, and I have all these options that I can choose from uh, for what sequence I want him to animate. And I'll start with an idle. So he's just standing here. And then if I would like to, you can see I have two now on this guy. But I'm going to delete the other one I had. So he's got this. And then I can create another animation and choose dance music. So now he's got this. I'm going to drop it on here. And the interesting thing is, is that I can slide this like a non-linear edi non -linear editor. He's going to idle, he'll dance, and then he'll go back to idling. You can adjust the transition of how quickly he will go from one to the next. So he's idling, he goes into dancing, he goes back to idling. And really beyond that, the possibilities are endless. Now some of these I noticed like walking. I dropped in a walking cycle animation and he's walking in place. So there's several things you can do here. A um, couple suggestions would be you can uh, you can keyframe the the position. So like just manually move him. Hide those logs for now. So you can see there's a little bit of sliding happening. So you kind of really gotta you have to tweak that by hand as you go. Please hit the like button if any of this was helpful. Again, to see any previous videos, please check out the two videos on the screen. Also, please ask a question if you have any, or answer this one. Do you have any interest in any more character animation videos inside of Unreal? Hope to see you again in another video real soon.